everybody, how are you doing? Today's video is going to be really good apps, I guess you could say, for photography. So let me make sure that that, that is our title. I'm going to look it up here. I'm almost positive, guys. Hold on one second. This is also continuing the series of um, our tech videos that we're doing for the month of September, me and Miss Veronica. And so now this is gonna be the best apps for on iPhone for photography. So actually you're gonna be able to view my face. So um, today, so let's see. Oh, by the way guys, on the new iOS, um, the iOS 9 for all of you that use um, iPhones. If you have Periscope and you use Periscope, if you flip the front of the screen, it does not work. Like it freezes on, like right away it freezes and then it like, it, it won't even do replay. So for most of you that know what Periscope is, it's been doing that when you do the front um, camera on the new iOS. So hopefully they fix those buggies soon. I didn't do it on my iPhone yet. I didn't update it. Um, apparently what I've heard is a lot of people don't like it and a lot of people have had problems with it. So um, that's the only thing that I found and I only did it on my iPad because I didn't want to do it on my cell because I use my cell sometimes when I'm on Periscope. So I didn't want to use, you know, update my cell. So I haven't updated it yet. So hopefully they come up with a new update for that. But um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, the best photography apps are, now, unfortunately they do not have this anymore. Um, actually, uh, what's her name? Oh my gosh, I have her blonde, beautiful Swedish face in my in her mind and I cannot think of her. Oh, Nikki Tutorials. She was the one who showed me this a long time ago and I've stuck with it and since I have had my, you know, account for a long time, I'm able to keep this um, app. So I don't know if I should show you guys or not, but I'm gonna show you anyways. It's called KitCam. They have a new version of it but I absolutely, this is what I, when I'm taking my selfies, I use this camera versus anything else. It looks like this. I don't know. If, sorry, you guys can see my ring. It looks like this right there. That right there. And it is called Kit Cam. You open it up and as you can see, you can change all the settings here. Like you can have, um, like you can change like different films. Uh, that's not gonna work with this light. Hold on, let me turn the light down a little bit. There we go. Okay, you can see all the different kind of films and things like that. And then if you um, click this, you could like make different, um, you know, viewfinders. So you could have like a fish eye. You can have um, blown out accent. Um, everything and what I generally have is I keep the really colorful one I have the colorful film on so it's called color vibe and then I have for my lens I have uh, the vignette I think it's called vignette something like that um, so oh I gotta turn this sideways because you guys can see my light so um yeah so this is what I take pictures with and the cool thing about this is I might have to not show you that. Okay, much better guys. I like this much, much better. I have my studio lighting on. I had my little um, ring light that's over my camera on and for some reason it was causing a big glare and I don't like that and I'm sure you guys didn't like that either. Um, but now let's move on. Um, so you can open it up and it's got um, different kind of timers. You can do um, double pictures. Here, let me. Make sure that this thing is getting there. There we go. So you can it stay. You can stabilize it. You can do a timer. You can switch from video mode to picture mode. You can um, do like multiple things, but oh, multi multi shots, which just means that you can um, take a picture of one side of your face and then take a picture. You know, kind of like a mirrored, or you can make it multiple ones. Okay. So if you guys don't have that, they did make a newer version, but um, it's to me not as good. So there is a kit cam and it is from the same company. They just updated it, but this is the older version and I love the older version. Okay, and as far as another really good photography app, let's see. 
I don't really have much on my phone, guys, because I really, really love that one. Um, Enlighten is really good. Now, this is part of Facetune. These people um, in Facetune uh, came out with that. I'll show you really cool. You can take a picture. In here, let me start over here. Like, you can take a picture, you know, like any normal picture. You see me, huh? And then, okay, like, let's say I'm gonna take a picture of this, what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna take a picture of that, okay? And so there it is right there. So you see me, my face right there. Now, in this app, it's so cool because you have all these options of things to do. My phone will focus there. Yeah, you have all these options. You've got the canvas, you've got image, filters, tools, mixers, reshape. Um, you can heal things. So like if you got a little blemish, you can heal it. Um, you can add text. You can even add, I mean, this app does everything. It is like one time app. And like, let's say here. Okay, let's see. Artistic image. We'll go into image. I can adjust and you go into image and you can adjust. You can um, do the clarity. You can hit target areas that you want to hit. Like let's say here, I'm going to, you can even put mask around, you know, your face. Like if you want a certain mask, like let's say, you know, I want this little, you know, lit up thing there. You could do that. Um, it does so many really awesome things. And like this picture of my cute little one, took a picture of her. And then you can go into um, tools. So there's little tools. And then you go into mixture. Let's see, where is it? Mixture. And I can add a picture of a picture in there. I mean, pretty much, see, here's the picture of a picture. You can make it small. You can size it. I mean, you could do pretty much anything. And then there's, you know, tools that you go down and it tells you the strength of the picture. You can make it really light. You can make it really dark. Honestly, you guys have to play with this app. It is like one of my favorite apps. It was made by, like I said, um, by Facetunes. It's the same company. And it is another app that costs money, but once you have it, you will absolutely love it. So KitCam pretty much is my favorite, and I do like Enlighten. And then um, I already spoke about Facetune. Um, let me see, there's a really cool app in here. Hold on one second, and I just got that I'm like in love with. Um, let's see. Another really good photography app, guys, is Afterlight. If you don't have Afterlight, it is a total, total must. You must get Afterlight. Like, I can take a picture of myself. I forgot you have to go into your actual photos. It took the picture, but you have to go into your actual photos to see the picture. Okay, so there's the picture. Okay, let's try this again without any interruptions. Okay, so then there's Afterlight. And you can click on here and the thing that I love about this, this has like so many filters and really pretty, you know, different kind of things that you can change. See that automatically changed the picture. Um, you can make it really heavy, make it really light. Um, it's got original, guest, season, wandered, and fusion. And then you can go over here and you can change the saturation and make Okay, so... Um, you can change the clarity. You can put really cool fil film on it. So, like, let's say this one, I can have that. I can have that. I mean, you can really, like, do it up for photography. Like, you can do all kinds of craziness. Um, I can have this. And then you can change where you want it to be. I have that. Which I don't re haven't really used too many of these little filters. Just once in a blue moon, I'll use something just to give it a little extra oomph. But um, I think that one is a really good photography app as well. But okay, guys, that is pretty much it. I have been interrupted galore for this video. So, um, but those are my favorite photography apps um, that I use. The Enlighten, um, the KitCam, and then the Afterlight. So please go check those out. The Afterlight is completely free. There is another one that I like. Um, which I did not see it in here, which is weird. Oh, Snapseed. Snapseed is another really good one. You can take a picture with Snapseed. 
Um, like let's say I'm gonna take, like I'm gonna open up one of the pictures I just took of myself. And then this is so super cool. Snapseed has all of these things here to make your pictures look really professional, professionally done up and made. You can make yourself look absolutely amazing. Um, with all of these, you can transform, you could use brush, you could do spot repairs. Um, um, then you go down and then the filters are lens blur, glamour glow, HDR scape. I mean, it just does so many really cool things. You have to play with it a little bit. But another one for taking really good pictures is the Snapseed. Okay guys, I'm really done this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry for all the major interruptions. My husband came home and then I had all these crazy people calling me, everything. So, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I will be happy to answer them for you. And please go check out Veronica's favorite photography apps that she uses. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you later, bye.